YouTube welcome back to another video from WTFRC cars so I have been asked now a number of times um, for my take on best settings for running a drag RC from the MB4 and there are literally an absolute boatload of different ways of doing this so from watching many different videos and i'm quite sure if you're watching this video you already know the guys that have been doing this for ages and working out different ways to get different results um i've had a good look through the remote and i've got a really good understanding of what each function does so this is just my take on a basic setup that in my eyes is easy to use and easy to set up and it should give most of you what you're looking for on it. Now, you don't have to use the shift point that I've put on here. So if you're not interested in a shift point, you can just leave that off altogether. But let's crack on with video and see what you think. So there are many different ways to set this up and it all depends how you want it to function, whether you want a shift point that will give you like a pausing acceleration, if you like. But basically, what we've got is we've got adjustable throttle speed on a dial, what you can hit with your thumb. You've got adjustable idle up point, so that's the percentage of throttle that you're going to start from. And then you've got an adjustable dual rate point, so that's your shift point. And then we've also got exponential on a dial, so you can alter everything on fly. Now you want to set this without your RC uh, connected. So what we've got, we're going to be running with idle up. So your shift point, you're then going to use your dual rate to set what shift point you want while idle up is in, fun in operation. So while the idle up green light's on. So we're going to be adding for a 70% shift. Now, if you turn idle up off, you'll see that'll be a different 56%. We idle up on, you're adding to that. You're adding the percentage that your idle up is on top of your percentage of what you've got your shift point set to, if you like, your dual rate. So basically, without your RC running, put your idle up on. So if we want it to launch at 30% or... We can change that to 40%, but set it to whatever you want. Once you've got that set, pull full throttle and then use the other dial to set your dual rate percentage or where you want it to shift. So once you've got them set, you're then ready to turn your RC on. You press your engine kill, which is going to work as your line lock. You pull your throttle 100%. You put your idle up on, which is your shift point of what you want it to jump to. Lights go green, press it straight away. And then you press it again for your shift point to get your final bit of power. Then you brake, and then you just hit your idle up and you're not going to roll. So you can instantly kill your idle up. So I'll just run you through it again. So we've got... That's where we're going to want a shift point. Once you've got idle up on, you can then turn that up or down using your throttle dual rate. So once you've got that set, you're all ready. So basically, enable your line lock, get ready. Your lights go green. It'll go up to your shift point, press for shift, brake, hit your idle up, and then it's not going to pull off as soon as you brake. So if you look basically, as dual rate's just given us a shift point that is dependent on whether idle up is on or off. Obviously for your run you're going to have idle up on, because that's how we're setting this point that we want to start at. So again, hit your engine kill, so that'll stop your throttle functioning, pull full throttle, put your idle up on to engage your percentage that you want to launch at, press your button, do your shift, brake, and then turn your idle up off, and you've got no no throttle. It's not uh, it's not trying to creep forward on you. But let's take you through settings, 
and show you what we've got set up for this. So, basically, in assignment, it's easier to see it on here. So, TR3 we've got set to idle up. TR4 we've got set to throttle go speed. So, that's how you can adjust your uh, servo speed and how you can ad adjust your idle up. Then if we scroll further down, so on VR1 you've got your throttle jaw rate. So this is the dial on the back of the controller to right. Then on VR1 left, so the dial that's down there on left, you've got your throttle exponential so you can adjust that on fly. SW1 we've got set to engine cut. And SW2, we've got set to throttle dual rate on and off. SW3, we've got that set to idle up, to turn the idle up on and off. So, if we have a look on this menu to see what that actually looks like. So, switch 3, S button, throttle up, um, normal and trigger. SW2. We've got to throttle, dual rate and exponential, and again trigger, so it's just turning it on and off. If we have a look what we've got TR4 set to, that's your throttle speed go, and you can change the step, so you can have it jump in um, whatever number you want. And that's just as you move the rotary dial. TR3, we've got set to throttle up. So that's basically where you're going to set your starting percentage. And again, you can have that, either reverse it or have it normal, depending on which way around you want to roll the uh, dial to go up and down. You can change the steps. Then VR1, throttle exponential. VR2, which is the one on the right. We've got that set to throttle dual rate. That's where you're going to set your shift point. And then we've got SW1, which is going to be your engine cut. And that's what's set to your handle trigger, if you like. Your little button on handle there. So, again, to set up your shift point, you want to press your button on your controller that will lock it at the position. You want to enable your engine idle up. Then you want to set the percentage on that. And what you can do, you can basically set the... When I get my hand on it. You can set this throttle idle up to be the percentage of throttle that you launch on. So if we want 20%, you then pull your trigger. And you use the right hand variable dial to set your shift point. Basically, all these will affect each other. So that's got a shift point. So, enable your line lock, pull your throttle, press your button to enable idle up, hit your button to release the throttle, it'll get to your shift point, press it for your shift point, brake, and then just turn your idle up off. And you can just drive normally back down to where you were where you are. You can also use the dial to change your throttle go speed. So if we put it all the way up to 100%, it's going to work like lightning. Center point. If we turn it all the way down, oh, no, moving it around one. Center point. Want that set at 20. It's hard doing this in dark. So if we slow the throttle up, like quite a long way down so you can see what it's actually doing so basically that's going to limit us to 75% for a shift so enable your line lock press it to go it's going to go all the way up to 75 press your shift point you'll get rest at way up to 100 brake and then make sure you hit your button to turn idle, idle up off and then it's not going to run away with you on way back. Right, let's wrap this one up. 
Right, so that's just my short take on it. Um, to give a bit of an explanation of what we're actually doing on it. So the way I've got it set up is this one you can change for your throttle idle up. So that's going to be the percentage of throttle that you launch at. The one below it is what we're using for throttle speed. So that's your go speed. So that's the one that you can adjust and it'll either back off or increase the speed that it goes up at. This dial here is the one that we set in for throttle exponential. So you can alter your exponential curve. Now, if we move around to this side, that is the dial that you're moving to alter your dual rate. So that would be what we're using for a shift point. We've got this button. That's the one we're using for engine kill. So that's going to be your line lock. This button is to enable and disable the um, shift point, if you like. So that's turning your dual rate on and off. And this is the one we're using to enable your idle up, which will give you your percentage of throttle that you're starting from. So the procedure that I'm looking at running in, so you press this to lock the throttle, so the throttle does nothing now. You press that to enable your line lock, so your, uh, sorry, your percentage of throttle that you want to start from. So you pull throttle, you'd hit this button, your throttle goes up to the dual rate percentage, you hit that one and that'll take it up to 100%. And then that one, you brake, hit that and it'll turn your um, throttle percentage off. So you idle up. So when you let go, your car's not going to race off at 30% or whatever you've got the throttle set at. Hopefully that makes sense. S bits of all the different videos I've watched and it's just the settings that make more sense to me. If you don't want the shift point and you're just looking for your throttle speed, you don't have to enable this. So you don't have to turn that on in first place. If you don't turn it on in first place, as soon as you hit throttle, so as soon as you put your line lock on and your idle up, you just pull your throttle, hit that. It'll work its way up with your throttle speed to 100%, brake for end at race, and just hit that so when you let go, it's not at 30% or 40%, what, whatever you want to set it at. But it's just my take on it. Um, really depends how you want the car to drive. There's quite a few other options on there. One thing to bear in mind is when you change your exponential, which changes your throttle curve, it'll also change your percentage of idle up and it can also change the shift point, which is your dual rate. So what you'd have to do is set your exponential first so that's that dial there set your exponential however you want it you can go on the exponential screen as well and see where that dial's moving it to so set that first then you want to put your line lock on do this with your car turned off obviously pull your throttle put your idle up on turn it off see where the shift point or the dual rate shift point set at then use this dial to correct it Check that your idle up or your percentage that you want to start at, because the whole point of this is not to start at 0% throttle. You want to start at 10, 15, 20, whatever you want to start at. So set your exponential first, then set the percentage of idle up, and then pull your throttle, and then use this dial here to set the percentage where you want the shift point to be. Or... You can just leave the dual rate off and have no shift point. So you just hit throttle, pull that in. As soon as you press that and let go, it'll go all the way to 100, brake, hit that, and then it turns your idle up off. So it's not trying to run away. But hopefully that makes sense. Um, if we ever get some decent weather, I'm looking really forward to running this and then modding the crap out of it, because that's what we do at WTFRC Cars. But... Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. If you like, like, don't forget to like and subscribe, share to friends and family or anybody else that you might think is interested or wants to be bored to death listening to me. I'll catch you guys again in the next one.